Hey guys, and welcome to the second installment of my Han Tips and Explanation series. Today I'll be going over time management and how it can easily bring your gameplay to the next level. Now, I'm going to make a pretty bold statement here and say that time management is actually the most important intellectual skill in Han. I mean, it can completely make or break somebody's play. I'm sure you've seen it. Somebody gets outplayed in their lane early game, but manages to quickly come back and farm. This is because they're making better use of their time than their opponents. Now, different players have different methods with which they manage their time, just like everyday living. Everyone has their own way to manage time in a game, even if they aren't aware of it. I have my own method that I use, and I've really seen a lot of success with it. I even came up with a catchy name for it too a couple minutes ago. I call it the 60 second system. As you know, there are 60 seconds in one minute, and the way I like to manage my time in a game is to take it minute by minute. Before we get into that though, it's pretty important to know exactly what you're going to be filling your time up with. Sure, you can say, I need to manage my time, but what specifically are you doing that you need to manage exactly? Oh, Han is a really complex game, and there are so many things you can do at any particular moment and all this stuff. Nah, 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 nah. Let's keep this simple. In my mind, there are only three things you can be doing at any particular moment in a Han game. You can be farming, you can be scouting, or you can be roaming slash ganking. I guess you can throw another category in for miscellaneous stuff like buying items or bottling runes or whatever, but those are the three primary things you can do. Farm, scout, roam. All right, back to time management. You should be dividing your time into those three things. Farming, scouting, and roaming. Now, the 60 second method. Divide your time into increments of one minute. How many seconds out of your next minute do you want to spend doing any of those three tasks? For example, stacking your pull as a support takes 10 to 15 seconds from the lane. After taking into consideration all the factors, we'll get into that later, can you afford to take 15 seconds out of your next minute to stack? Change your entire view of the game to just one minute intervals. Ask yourself, what's going to happen in the next minute? Always make sure you're thinking one minute ahead. Think of all the things you could be doing during your next minute in terms of the three main categories I went over earlier. Quickly estimate how much time each will take as you go over them in your head. Prioritize which things you think are the most important and throw away all the things you could be doing that will take too much of your time. At the end of that quick process, you'll have a complete and efficient schedule that you can follow for your next minute. Now, while you're executing that schedule, repeat the process. It's that simple. There's really nothing else to it. The only thing you need now is more practice. To help you understand what I mean, let me give you an example. It's going to be me in an early game support situation. This is just a normal game solo matchmaking 1900 or so, but this applies to any bracket perfectly fine. Remember, we're going to be breaking our games up into one minute intervals, roughly. So at this point, I've already planned, scheduled, my next minute of gameplay. I'm going to take it through with you really slowly though, and take a few minutes to explain the factors I took into consideration. And remember, we're going to be thinking of it in terms of our three categories, roaming, scouting, and farming. Let's look at what we have. So let's let's go through the three categories right now. So let's think scouting. <clears throat> if you notice, the map's completely dark. No wards anywhere, which is usually really awful. In this case, it kind of is, although it's not my fault. There should be a ward here or here. That's engineer's problem. We have an engineer on the team, but that's not my responsibility. My responsibility is the bottom half of the map. But that's dark. Is that a problem though? Should I be rushing toward right now? Well, let's 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 let's, let's think about this for a second. We have th nobody's missing. We have three top. Voodoo Jester has no health, no mana. Panda has no health, no mana. Tempest has health, has mana. Doesn't have an ultimate. He used it earlier. I saw. He doesn't have any boots, no TP, so he's not going to be going anywhere fast. Hag is middle with. No TP, empty bottle. 
can't really gank the Nighthound. She doesn't have dust. Lodestone doesn't have dust. It's going to be kind of hard to kill him. Not very reliable, at least. I think she's just going to keep farming. And Lodestone is right there. He's uh, If he goes somewhere else, I may want to be concerned. So there's no real reason to scout immediately. But, but these two guys can go back to base. And they can TP and they can TP somewhere. That'll take them about 30 to 40 seconds. So that is gonna be an important time to have wards up to see where they TP to. Um, I'm gonna say the last 20 seconds of this minute I'm gonna spend scouting. You know, after 30 to 40 seconds, I'm gonna to wanna to start putting these wards up like a ward here, lane ward. I'm gonna to wanna to start scouting at that point. What about roaming? Let's see. Well I could box this lodestone out. Looks like he's already pretty boxed out though, but um, he's not coming close to the creep wave, so there's no real need to do that. I could come mid. Can't set up a kill though because Hag's just gonna blink away. Can't bait the pebbles because Hag's not gonna try to go on a pebbles, and it's not like I can harass her or help the pebbles farm either because I'm only level four. I can't out harass a level seven Hag. Um, I could go top, but they're both dead. And I can't go top anyway because I don't have a TP and I don't have gold. So <clears throat> roaming's out the window. I said I'll probably start scouting after like 30 to 40 seconds. So the only thing left to do before that time is the default farming. And I'm going to do that. So let's play back this minute and see how my schedule works out and how closely I follow it. So I'm going to be farming here. And... Uh gonna be super fun. Nighthound's gonna be farming. Now as I'm pulling I'm thinking about what I'm explaining to you right now. I'm not just being oh look look how pretty the Minotaur is. Let's look at myself pull. No no I'm gonna be looking around the map. I'm gonna be looking top. I'm gonna be looking mid. I'm going to see because I'm looking top. I'm gonna see Panda go back to base right now. So he's gone. Voodoo Jester is probably around here because he went to base a lot earlier. Tempest is missing. He's in the jungle somewhere. I know there's no creep camp here, so he's farming right here. Hag's missing. It's kind of shady. Lodestone's missing. Notice, I could keep farming this. I could definitely wipe this creep camp if I use my W on it, but I'm not. 30 to 40 seconds are up. I need to go get these wards down. Voodoo Jester could be TPing. You see the Lodestone. He's gone. Need to get a ward up mid. Need to protect this Pebbles. He needs to get his portal key. So I'm going to run into the Hag ultimate, put a word down, and BAM! How perfect was that? Let's, let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to come over here now. Yeah, I misplay runs the Hag ultimate, but the second I put the word down, look, I put the word down, and BAM! Voodoo Jester walks into its sight range. And, um, that's just timing. And as you can see, m me thinking about a schedule, following it, saying, okay, 30 or 40 seconds, I need to get this word down, I need to get other words down so I can see things worked out. And I'm going to see this voodoo gesture come up. Perfect timing. And we're going to get away safely. I am sorry that I could only give you one example for this video, but just because I was playing support, doesn't mean that you can't apply the same logic to any role or situation. The key is thinking about your three major categories, determining which ones make the most sense to prioritize, and establishing a sort of schedule in your head for the next minute of the game. If you have any other topics you'd be interested in hearing about, or if you'd like to see me go over more time management scenarios like the one in this video, let me know in the comments below. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed, have a nice day, and thanks for watching.